Hi, this is Abstract Jazz, and you're watching Under the Radar. We're here today with Greenspan. Yeah, yeah. Eighteen hundred on my breath and whiskers. Eighty-three beats per minute. Heart racing, minutes ticking. Yeah, greeny the cat be yoke for bitches. Keep me calm the entire time versus fighting Nick. How you doing, Greenspan? Good. How you doing? So tell us, who is Greenspan? Me. Excited now. Um, an, an expressive artist. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All my, all my, all my um, music has to do with self-expression. Mm -hmm. Whatever space I'm in, just expressing myself. And, Mm -hmm. Painting the canvas like I want to, you feel me? Okay, what would you call your style of music? Expressive, for real, Expressive. more than anything. Like, um, I mean, you got, you know, niggas, in regards to hip hop, niggas talk about conscious or mm -hmm. hardcore or right. trap or, you know, talk to some people that, when I was talking to some people, listen to gospel, they was like, oh, mm -hmm. you do secular music. Like, oh, I hate that word. Yeah, it's <laughs> expressive, you feel what I'm right. saying? Like, that's it. Like, you know, expressing myself, you feel what I'm saying? And being authentic and true. So. Mm -hmm. And how did you come up with the name Greenspan? Well, um, in 03, I started taking an interest in politics and money, mm -hmm. um, and I was getting out of high school, whatever, and um, I came across Alan Greenspan, who's the former chairman of the Federal Reserve Board. Mm -hmm. The Federal Reserve is the ones um, in charge of the money and the interest rates and shit like that, so I reinterpreted the Federal Reserve as, um, my interpretation was the federal government want to reserve a seat for us being minorities. Mm -hmm. They want to take your time, they want to take your freedom, your right to vote. You got to overcome all that and have economic self-interest, so that's where that came from, you feel me? Greenspan, chairman mm -hmm. of the Federal Reserve, so yeah. So do you express economics and stuff in your songs? Sure, I mean, um, <clears throat> I mean the main thing when I, when I, you know, coming up with that vision and all that was to be on some, yo, my, um, my music and my art is, uh, theme dependent, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it wasn't about on some, yo, money or economics. Mm -hmm. You can touch on that, I touch on a lot of stuff, I talk about whatever, you know what I mean? But, um, whatever's on my mind and what's on my heart, but just taking that, um, concept and reevaluating and reinterpreting it from, mm -hmm. you know, from my point of view, that's, that's art, that's what art is all about, you know what I mean? Destroying and rebuilding, recreating, so. Mm -hmm. Now, how did you start, like, when when did you start rapping and what was that process? Well, taking it serious, like in, you know, I mean, 03, taking it serious, you know, what I mean, mm -hmm. started um recording at, at whatever you know spaces we could we could we could have available to be mm -hmm. able to record. First started recording with um, um TMG um Cats Boys, you feel what I'm saying? That first studio set up, and um you know I was familiar with them and knew them personally, so mm -hmm. the way you know just starting to record, just building something from there. And certain, you know, record certain records and understand it. Like, oh, we got something here. We can, you know, what I mean, we can move forward with this. Let's, you know, let's, mm -hmm. let's let's keep it, let's keep it moving and take it serious. You know, we can build something. So. Mm -hmm. What kind of setting do you like? In your, like, what kind of studio setting do you like? Um, when you record. Hmm. Um, I mean, we can create the feel anyway. As far as I'm concerned, I like being left alone. Like, mm -hmm. I don't like deep ass sessions. Mm -hmm. You ain't working like you don't. Get out of here. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't need your energy. I don't need your your input. You feel what I'm saying? Let me let me sit and create. You feel what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. more than likely, I just like people in the session to be the people that's working in the session. Mm -hmm. Um, and and let's take it serious. Let's crank out this work. Let's get it done. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm gonna book a session anyway. I mean, if it's my session and my setup that I created, and I ain't got pay hourly, or if it's a session where I'm paying a nigga hourly, it's like yo, let's mm -hmm. not. I don't, we don't need a party and bullshit. We could, you know, we could pour up or we could, you know, have whatever around us. But um, I don't need to waste no time. Let's crank out the music. We could party afterwards. You feel me? So. Right. Do you make any party music? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Have a lot of party songs out there. You know, not a lot of party songs. Mm -hmm. No. I mean, I got a record coming out. Um, I mean, people have heard it, but um, I got a record called Sweet Poison. Mm -hmm. That's just like, I mean, um, friends of mine in France actually did the beat. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I mean, that should not me. Then it turns into like a Baltimore club feel. Oh, yeah. It comes right back, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I hate But um, we're supposed to be doing a remix with um, mm -hmm. Leah Songbird, Kizzy B, and Ashley Alexander. So having three female singers on the, on the record, oh, Sweet wow. Poison. Like, the record is like on the low. It's about pussy, you know what I mean? But like, in a roundabout way, you feel what I'm saying? It's not, it's right. not like derogatory or, or that oh, okay. provocative. Okay. But it's like Sweet Poison. That's what, that's what right. we're touching on. Like, right, we, right. We've all been affected by Sweet Poison. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. Right. So tell us about any upcoming projects that you have. Um, so February, well, yeah, February we're gonna be releasing um, "Stairway to Heaven" reimaged. Mm -hmm. um, "Stairway to Heaven" is my album that I dropped last January. That's mm -hmm. on like Spotify, iTunes, everywhere, Pandora. Um, I got a producer named Graffiti Tech. Mm -hmm. He um, 
gave him all the acapellas, he remixed everything. So we're gonna re-release that um, along with um, one of the songs on Stadway, it's called Perfect Time, and we just did a video for that. Mm -hmm. So we're about to do a whole like curated event in a gallery and all that shit. Oh, it's yeah. gonna be real beautiful. So everybody gonna know when to have it. So we're gonna release that, the, the remix project mm -hmm. and the video, the same setting. Do all that shit. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be dope. Yeah, it sounds like it. And when you said that's gonna be again? Um, end of February, top of March. Okay, so, yeah. so look out for that Y'all yeah, be the first to know. Okay, that's that's cool. So, um, what are your goals as far as with music? Um, I mean, unlimited. You feel what I'm saying? I always mm -hmm. have wanted to go as far as God would allow me to go. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, um, it's it's, it's a it's an infinite type thing. I mean, let's tour. Let's continue to tour. You feel what I'm saying? Some of these rock bands, these guys are 50, 60 years old. They're still on the road. Yes. You know what I mean? Get. Yeah. I mean, I don't necessarily want to be making rap videos at 60, but you know, um, I wanna, um, I don't really care for so much comparing to other artists, but for real, if I wanna shoot for anything, it's like, I wanna be the Earth, Wind & Fire hip hop, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, you know what I mean, niggas know, see me at a show with my band, we kill mm -hmm. that shit, you feel what I'm saying? It's like, you know, I love the live instrumentation and showmanship, that's what it's about, you know what I mean? Not just, you know, being able to rap over a beat, like I've been doing that for 10, 11 years, you, you guys have seen that I'm, I'm able to do that, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I want to challenge myself at all times. I want to play with an orchestra, you feel what I'm saying? Like, it's the shit that I want to do mm -hmm. before all this shit is said and done. It's like, yo, look what we did, you know what I mean? That was some cool shit. So, um, the goals are unlimited, the possibilities are, are endless. And I definitely, if I want to shoot for anything, it'd be the earth, wind, and fire of hip hop. Mm -hmm. And what kind of places were you on to tour? Would you want to tour? Oh, worldwide, wherever, wherever, yeah. they, you know what I mean? That's the thing, you gotta find your lane, you gotta find, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, it's an outlet and it's a, it's a, um, like whatever you, whatever music you make, mm -hmm. it, there's a market for it. You feel what I'm saying? Whatever you, whatever product you have, there's a market for it. You gotta right, find right. it and position your shit right. So mm -hmm. I don't wanna say like, yo, I, I'm on a tour the East Coast or the US, whatever, when whole time it's like, yo, but you doing numbers in Belgium. They right. wait for you over there. Right. So it's just like if Belgium, just say for instance, if Belgium is where I can make the most sales and tour and sell out shows, then that's where I want to be. So I don't want to ever limit myself to like, yo, I just want to be in the States and kill it. For what? And you can go get rich in Spain or right. whatever. So right. yeah, that's what I'm down with. So what, which one of your performances do you feel like was your one of your best performances and why? Um, when we did last year, we um, May 30th, we did Baltimore Indie Fest, mm -hmm. and the website is up baltimoreindiefest.com. It's a brand, and it's, it's going to be ongoing. We um, we plan an Indie mm -hmm. Fest right now, um, you know, with some other you know dope upcoming artists and all that. But Baltimore Indie Fest, um, Easy Jackson had his set with Wendell Patrick, Kizzy B had her set with her mm -hmm. band. I did my set with my band, Ashley Alexander, and um, you know my man Emmanuel Withers, and um, and that was just real dope. Like you know, like. I mean, with the band in the background singers, how we opened the shit up. I opened up with a um, record called Day at the Top, but the mm -hmm. way I had the band play it was like the music from um, AZ and Nas, Life's a Bitch. Mm -hmm. So I covered the AZ verse for my second verse. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of it, we went into what the original sample was from, Yearning for Your Love, from the Gap right, Band. Right. So I'm like, you know, me and the background singer was doing three part harmony, talking about keep running. It's like, who's doing that in right. rap period? Not right, just ball, right. rap, rap period. So to see that, and I got my aunties and people in the shit, and they, you know, expecting just some old rap shit. It's mm -hmm. like, no, I'm covering the Gap Band, baby. I'm Charlie Wilson tonight. What you want to do? Put the Bible down on stage. What you want to do? So right. it's like, oh, like, you know, some people that have never seen me before, like my cousin Will Fowl, mm -hmm. he was there. You know what I mean? Like, that's the first time he seen me perform. Mm -hmm. Perform that shit three days later. He got killed. You feel what I'm saying? So it was like so many things. And it was the last night I seen Will. You feel what I'm saying? So so many things aside from the performance but, I mean, made that. that was the last night you seen Fowl? Last time I seen Fowl, last time oh, I seen Will. Wow. And both of them niggas so died within 24 hours. Perform. Yeah, wow. and um, let you know, That's both so on cool, pass within 24 yeah. hours of each other type shit. So, um, so that was a significant night and the best performance as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you for your time, Grace. Check it. out his music and all of his other upcoming events, and also tune in next week for new interviews.